What's new for 2023? Well, I've got about five pieces of new gear, and I'm just going to run through them one by one and let you know what's going through in my new gear. So upgrading from some thin merino gloves to these seal skin, all weather, ultra grip, weatherproof gloves. These are knit with merino wool, and see on there you've got the grip, and also got the phone on the fingers and the thumb, so you can use your mobile phone. So they're warm and supposedly weatherproof, but I'll let you know after we get them a good use, how they go and what I think of them. Also, as an upgrade to a simpler system, I now have these, what they call WeatherTech, Alpha WeatherTech gloves. So the top palm section is grippy, uh, has like a, a grip material on there, and then the bottom is a weatherproof and also lined. As you can see in there, I'll rip it out for you. So thin lining on there will do a good job. Um, and also they're a little bit bigger. So I can put a liner glove underneath those and they definitely will keep my hands dry. Uh, previous gloves, which were supposed to be weatherproof gloves, uh, were not weatherproof. They were seam sealed, but the seam seal wasn't very good and they leaked through the stitches and the seams. So my gloves, although they kept my hands warm with the wool gloves, uh, they definitely uh, let the water through. So under different circumstances, we might have had a different outcome. So, But give these a trial too for a simpler system. So two different systems here uh, for weatherproof gloves. I can also combine both of these together. Uh, they do fit inside each other. And that'll be a great little system too. So definitely be warm and super, super dry. So there you have it. Firstly up, the gloves. Number two, my new kit for 2023 slash very late in 2022, these ones were, are uh, the Bridgedale high or not so much high, but not ankle high, weatherproof socks. These things are great. I had one opportunity to use them very late in 2022, and they worked a charm. Uh, kept my feet very, very warm and toasty on a snow hike in Tasmania, and uh, yeah, definitely saved the day when it came to warmth. Uh, we weren't we were prepared for the snow, but uh, not knowing how things will will actually perform before you get out there. Um, these things performed excellent. I uh, got a good review before we actually left how good these socks were and uh, they didn't let me down. So number two was a pair of Bridgedale weatherproof socks. Number three in my list of new gear for 2023 is a pair of Raven Vita Pro 3000 weather resistant pants. Now these things are an amazing pair of pants. They have reinforced reinforced on the back, reinforced knees, a pair of pants with plenty of pockets. I'll do a full review of these pants uh, when I get a chance. Uh, this is virtually a straight out of the bag review um, and just a detailed uh, show out what I have for 2023. But I'll definitely give these ones a good go before I give them a review. Uh, look out for that coming up next. But these pants are an amazing pair of pants, and I went with Floor Raven uh, because of their uh, sustainability program they have running. Uh, they look at using all recyclable, renewable gear and they try not to have an impact on the environment with regards to what they use to make their equipment weatherproof, waterproof, and insulation-wise. So went with the company. Uh, I thought that was a really good uh, pitch, and uh, I believe that's a 
pretty important uh, idea too when it comes to backpacking and sort of goes along the same vein as leave no trace. So definitely worth the, the purchase. So there you have it. Number three was my pair of Floor Raven Vita Pro trekking pants. Okay, number four. Uh, first thing I'd say before I get through number four is that all these products I have purchased with my own money. Um, and, yeah, there's uh, no gifted items, not sponsored, nor have I been asked to say anything positive or negative about this gear. Uh, so I'll throw that out there straight away. So these are the Mont Hydronaut Austral Pants. Three-layer pants, weatherproof, come with a three-quarter zip up the legs. Uh, Velcro on the bottom there. This is for let, letting out the air, getting a bit of uh, fresh air in there when you start to warm up. These pants have a 30,000 millimetre head and they have a 20,000 millimetre breathability. So, yeah, pretty good. Uh, I went with these pants, the Mont. They have about three different range of pants. And I went with the Australs uh, for weight and that mid sort of mid price range in the Mont range. It's uh, not the most expensive pair they have. It's not the cheapest. Uh, and it definitely had the breathability and the water head rating that I was looking for in a pair of waterproof pants. So first look, very amazing pair of pants. Uh, but this is only a first look straight out of the bag, just so that you know what I've got going for this year, 2023. And, yeah, I'll give you a full review when I get them out there and give them a go. So here we go, number five. It's my Pro Thermal long sleeve hooded top from MacPack. So it comes with a hood, zips right up, long sleeves. It's also quarter zip, so you can zip it right up, and you can also zip it right down if you wished to let some heat out as well. So there you have it. This is a, what you'd call an a extra base or a mid-layer, depending on the weather. Uh, I'd pretty much, I reckon, make it as my second base or if I was going a bit lighter or if I was going to go on a mid-layer if I had a pretty good base. So there you have it. Number five, five items, all new, all for 2023. All this gear is an upgrade of previously purchased items. Um, and, yeah, I thought I'd throw in a couple extras, a couple extra bonuses of gear for 2023, smaller purchases uh, to start doing some different hikes in 2023. So two bits of kit. One purchased was an Outdoor Designs poncho tarp. Now, I got it as a poncho. Probably won't use it as a tarp at this stage, more for a poncho, to get a little bit more weatherproofness. If, for example, I have my backpack on, I just want to throw this on. It doesn't take up much room. It doesn't weigh very much. I'll leave all the stats to all this gear links to all the gear that I bought it from, who I bought it from, and most importantly, what I thought of the gear too. So there you have it, poncho tarp from Outdoor Designs. It's big enough to go over pretty much any backpack. Um, and there you have it. And last but not least is a flameless heat pack for cooking ready-to-eat meals. So you can get what's called the MRE or the ready-to-eat meals. And these, all you do is add a little bit of water, throw it in. It steams up really quickly. You zip this up, the air escapes, come back in about 10 to 12 minutes, and you have your meal ready to go. So not all meals, you wouldn't, you don't use your dehydrated, your dehydrated meals. There is a different 
method of uh, reheating. You boil the water and then you uh, let it stand. Where this one here is, your meals are already cooked. They're in a bag. You throw these in here. Water level is just there. And, yeah, I have used this once as a trial, uh, and it worked amazingly. So I plan to use this on a couple of next trips as a backup, just in case you have no flames, you forget your matches, you forget your lighter, your gas runs out, something goes wrong with your, your uh, burner, whatever happens, this can help you out. You just never know. So it's like a bit of a backup system, redundancy for just in case, and it weighs virtually nothing. So, yeah, great extra bit of kit for 2023, and there you have it. New gear for 2023. So if you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe, it really helps my channel out. I really Get out there, go hiking, have fun, and goodbye.